Hello YouTubers and welcome back. In this video we have a look at the ZX Vega recreation, how the keyboard works. And to do this we're going to load up an adventure game, uh, David Jones Locker. I apologise for some of the blurriness in the video, it's, uh, my camcorder gets a little bit confused trying to record video off the screen. So here we have David Jones Locker, a classic adventure game. To bring the virtual keyboard up, we press the M button, and then you can see on the display we've got the uh, joypad, uh, symbols, digits, and then the next set of letters. The keys FS1 and 2, the rubber keys, indicate A, B, C, and D in this instance on the uh, light blue section of the screen. And then the four buttons underneath the rubber keypad, um, A, B, C, and M, represent delete, enter options or return and now we're going to try and enter some commands on the um, adventure game itself and we'll discover that it is quite cumbersome so as a reminder here's the layout of the Vega as you can see the four buttons FS 1 and 2 um, represent the letters now E, F, G and H so we're going to try and enter grab dog first time playing this and you see I've made a mistake the A button will act as a delete, and that is the A button, the four small ones underneath the big rubber keys. And it takes me a, a little while as I have to cycle through the keys and to enter the command. It would have been better if they'd added a space key um, as well as a delete and enter, but I guess they ran out of um, uh, keys on the, the device itself. And the game doesn't like grab dog, so I'm going to try and enter pick up dog now. Can't leave him on the boat after all, can we? And yes, you can see, <laughs> struggling a little bit here. Uh, remember what I'm doing. Um, one of the interesting facts is that the device doesn't remember where uh, you left off, so each time you start back at the beginning, i.e., when you select letters, digits, um, or symbols, it will automatically go to the start as opposed to the last um, panel that you had on display. So entering the space, for example, you have to go to symbols and press the left D-pad key twice to see the space icon, um, which would be the number two key eventually. Um, so we're going to pick up the dog, uh, taking a little dog, and about at this point, uh, I got quite bored. Uh, so the ZX Vega is not a viable uh, unit, in my opinion, for playing adventure games. You'd be better off downloading an emulator for your PC, your Mac, your Android device, and installing the um, uh, the TAP Z80 SNA file, wh whatever you've managed to download from World of Spectrum, onto the your emulator and playing from there. I think it would be a more pleasurable experience. Well there we go. That's how the keypad works on the ZX Vega. Thank you very much for tuning in and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much. Goodbye.